Hey there and welcome back to another DevOps quick question. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Anais and I make videos related to Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem. Now, I got a question on my Twitter DMs asking whether or not a DevOps engineer has to know about front-end development, about front-end frameworks, front-end engineering, and whether or not it's important. Now, let me tell you, <laughs> in the past, two years of working as a developer advocate in this space um, and partially as a site reliability engineer, I didn't have to learn or use much of my front-end skills. Now, when I got started with programming, I got started with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and TypeScript. And I did lots of different projects in React, also work-related projects in React. Um, so I think I know the fundamentals of React and front-end development. I'm not a good front-end engineer. <laughs> I know um, how to, I know my way around. That's basically it. Um, and I told that person, first of all, <laughs> none of the specific skills were relevant for my DevOps work. However, it was useful for my developer advocacy work, which is different because in developer advocacy, you want to do little demos. You want to show something nice, something entertaining to, to the people who are watching your demos, right? So for that, it's useful. Uh, the only really useful thing was uh, me understanding how a Node.js application works, right? And then being able to translate that into a Docker file and create a container for my example application. Now, why is this relevant for an example application? Depending on the team that you're working in and the structure of the company. So let's say you are working as a DevOps engineer. You could either be within a DevOps team of sorts, or you could be placed within engineering teams. No, that's probably the ideal situation that you're placed within engineering teams. And when you're placed within engineering teams, it could happen you are within a front-end team and they have front-end related questions on how do you integrate the testing for the front-end uh, frameworks or uh, application uh, into your CICD pipeline, how do you optimize the Docker file, things like that, right? So you understanding how the application works is probably really helpful and that's most likely the main thing of where I would say that front-end development can be useful within DevOps, within the DevOps space. Now, besides that, you don't really do any front-end development. Like, at least I haven't seen any job description or similar where it has been requested or where, yeah, it's just not really a thing, <laughs> I think. Um, however, talking about job descriptions, um, what I would suggest anybody who wants to know what they have to learn for a specific role, for a specific job title, look at job descriptions. Like really, that's where you can get, that's what you can look at as your source of truth. Look at job descriptions, see what they tell you, what you should know, um, <laughs> what you should learn, what they expect in specific roles, right? So, and, and based on that, you can kind of infer of the kind of skills that are required within a specific role, right? Um, now, within the DevOps space, and that depends if you're looking at cloud native focused DevOps engineering or non cloud native, it would be much more <laughs> um, useful, let's say, if you really know your way around Kubernetes, if you know scripting, if you know Python to create scripts, for example, um, if you know your way around different CSD pipelines, if you're good in setting up CSD pipelines, if you're good in setting up tests, if you have done QA engineering, that those skills will prove probably very, very useful. I can't talk as much about the non cloud native space, but ultimately <laughs> Kubernetes is very complex. If you know your way around Linux, you know how Linux works. Um, and different operating systems related. You know how Kubernetes works inside out. You know different tools related to the DevOps space, CICD pipelines, testing tools, and similar. Then you're in a good position, I would say. So um, <laughs> you really don't have to know everything because you knowing everything means that has advantages, but also has disadvantages like everything, right? Um, so you knowing everything everything means that you don't really have a specialty in something, right? 
to be a front-end developer, for example, that takes it to be a goer, it takes years and years of practice and being within teams, working with teams and um, developing <laughs> developing applications, right? Do you want to spend your time on that and you're becoming a front-end engineer, right? It, You know, you can't... And then maybe transition into DevOps, but that's like a complete different route. It's like I know of front-end engineers who want to transition into DevOps, which is different, right? It's not getting started in DevOps and not becoming a DevOps engineer. It's different. Um, now where it is useful to know a lot of different things is within the DevOps space, there are new tools popping up all the time everywhere, right? Like so many new tools that you have to learn, that you have to um, potentially understand. And that's again, depending on your role, uh, you will be required to get um, up to speed on a tool within hours or a day, okay? That's like how much time you might have to get started with a new tool that your workplace wants to use. And that's even more of an extreme when you are um, a contractor. So I have some friends who are contractors within the DevOps space and they have to learn about a tool, uh, so complex tools within hours, right? And they have to be productive within hours um, because they are paid for that. They are paid for their time. They are paid to be productive, right? So if you are used to getting started with new tools all the time and you are really comfortable exploring new tools and you understand your way around DevOps related tools and how to get started with them, then you're in a really good position, I would say. Now, that's just my two cents, right? Um, it doesn't mean that this is kind of the standard. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. I hope these DevOps quick questions are useful. Please do send me your questions and I will make little videos on them, <laughs> answering them from my perspective. I hope you have an amazing day. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you really, really like this video, subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. I really hope to see you in one of my next videos. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.